Yo guys, what's going on? It's Russ here. Bring guys a brand new video. We are here in the PBAL Week 2, facing off against Finfin and the Pallet Town Paladins. Um, very scary matchup, but I'm honestly very excited. Uh, spoiler alert if you missed last week. Um, we did take a loss. Honestly, I just don't think I played particularly well last week. Um, but we're hoping to bounce back this week. Um, and hopefully we can pick up our first win this week. Let's go ahead and get right into this team builder. If you missed, if you've been keeping up with our season, you should know that our team is Gouging Fire, Mew, Skarmory, Superior, Dawnfan, Terra Vapo, Terra Mismagius, Slitherwing, Tinkaton, Hisuian, Quillfish, and Terra Munchlax. My opponent uh, has Dragapult, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Corviknight, Pheasantipity, Wochian, which are his Terra captains, uh, Magnezone, Quagsire, Meloetta, Cleavor, and Frostlass. Let's go ahead and let's get right into what we're bringing and why we are bringing it. We are bringing Gouging Fire this week. Of course, it is my is my first overall pick. I do need to be bringing it in these uh, in these games. Uh, we're running the Charcoal this week with Heat Crash, Outrage, Earthquake, and Scale Shot. I'm running 48 HP, uh, 252 Attack, 208 Speed, Jolly Nature. We are here to outpace everything after a plus one. Um, this will also, I believe, outpace Adamant Urshfu if I remember correctly. Um, but this Mon is going to actually chunk a lot of his team. Uh, Quagsire is a Mon that I have to worry about, and same with Wo Chan. Um, but if we can weaken those down, then Gouging Fire can put in a ton of work. And uh, with some help from one of our later mons, we're going to be putting in a lot more work this week. Next up, we're bringing Mew. This is pretty much my dedicated lead with the weakness policy, flamethrower, ice beam, energy ball, and agility. We're running 176 HP, 100 special defense, 232 speed with a timid nature. With this special defense, we are actually taking one specs hit from the Dragapult. Um, we also take less than half. So if he is a Specs Shadow Ball Dragapult, which is fully what I'm expecting this week, Specs Dragapult is incredibly hard for me to switch into. Um, it, it's incredibly hard for me to switch into. Um, and if I can get the agility up in front of that, or in front of the Frostlass, which is what I'm expecting to be his lead, um, then we can put in a ton of work with this Mew. Um, it's definitely possible that this mod, this mod is not meant to you know, tear, uh, rip apart my opponent's team. It is not meant to be like a win con. It is just meant to get some damage off early and open up the, the window for Gadging Fire to win later. Next up, we're bringing Skarmory. And yes, you are reading that correctly. We're bringing Heat Rock, Sunny Day Skarmory this week. Spikes, Body Press, and Roost to, to boot uh, with 248 HP, 252 defense, 12 speed, bold nature. Um, with this set, so with the Gouging Fire, this is what the, this is obviously, of course, what that's for. Um, with Gouging Fire, with the Protosynthesis boost, we are 2-hit KOing Fizz Def, uh, Quagsire with, I believe, uh, with Outrage. Um, and I believe with, potentially with Charcoal, uh, with Charcoal boosted Heat Crash as well. Um, if it's full Fizz Def, which is what I'm expecting. Um, this Mon is pretty much here to set up the Sun for Gouging Fire and get up some spikes if we can. Um, otherwise this Mon is not super, super important because, yes, it would be good for the, uh, the what's it called the urshifu um but i have something else for urshifu for later um otherwise this mon obviously it loses to the magnezone um almost entirely uh in mox i originally had a shed shell set um but i i with how i was playing it i felt like uh getting the body press off and getting some damage off on the magnezone was a little bit more important um but this is what the skarmory is gonna be doing this week we're bringing it pretty much entirely to, just a set of spikes and the sun for my gouging fire Next up, we're bringing Dawn Fan this week with the Citrus Berry, Earthquake, Knockoff, Rapid Spin, and Roar. We're running 248 HP, 120 Attack, 140 Speed, and an Adamant Nature. With the Speed, I believe we're outpacing Uninvested Wo uh, I believe, If I remember correctly, that's what the Speed is for. Um, Roar is actually super important because if we can get some hazards up pretty early, then uh, we can absolutely put in some work uh, just getting some easy chip um, off, the, off this team. Um... Otherwise, get, you know, getting the knockoff is super important onto things like Wochan, because if it's the leftovers or the boots, I do want to know. Um, and it would be really, really, really nice to get rid of whatever item that Wochan has. Next up, we're bringing Vaporeon with the Fairy Terra this week with the leftovers. We're running Alluring Voice, Stored Power, Calm Mind, and Substitute. Uh, 192 HP, 252 Defense, 64 Speed, Bold Nature. Um, with this spread, we live... Uh, with the Substitute, the uh, Urshifu cannot break the substitute with close combat if we are terra fairy i know it's a weirdly weird specific spread but that's what this is for uh the speed is for wochan um otherwise pretty pretty straightforward uh set i mean we're running, we're facing for i think it's a 12 speed or 20 speed something like that um on the uh wochan but 
Um, this Vaporeon is my win con. It absolutely is. It actually takes hits from the Dragapult decently well. Um, especially if I can get the, you know, Calm Miner 2 up. Um, Alluring Voice can absolutely put in a ton of work on this team. Um, obviously, we're going to be needing to watch out for the Pheasantipity and the Magnazone. But if we can weaken those down or get rid of them, then Vaporeon can absolutely win us this game. And then last, but certainly not least, we are running Quillfish this week with a very important role. Taunt, Toxic Spikes, Crunch, and Bar Barrage. Um, we're running basically full spadef this week. Just This is my uh, Dragapult air quotes check. Um, I need this to basically take the hits from Dragapult. Uh, it is a roll for Specs Dragapult to 2-hit KO with the Draco Meteor. Um, a roll that's in my favor, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, if it's a modest... It's, it has to be a modest Dragapult in order to 2-hit KO with, Dra uh, with Draco Meteor specs um and then it, even then it's a roll so uh very you know uh kind of specific role that this fills this week uh but also just trying to get up some toxic spikes pretty early um being able to taunt some things like the corviknight uh to prevent it from roosting or defogging away any of our hazards um and barbarage just to spread around some uh some extra poisons if t spikes aren't able to get up otherwise you know doing some extra damage to the mons that are poisoned um but that is going to do it for our team builder. Let's go ahead and get right into the battle. Yo, guys, what's going on? It's Rose here. Breeding Guys, PBAL Week 2. We're here against Finn Finn. Um, and I am very excited for this match. I am very scared for this match. Um, he didn't bring the Terra Captains, which I thought at least one of them was showing up. He's going to lead off with the Cleavor. Okay. Um... He let off with Cleavor. Um, I actually don't do that much. I need to go Dawn Fan, I think. Um, yeah, I go Dawn Fan. Um, and I could freely click Knock Off. Dawnfan comes in. We'll find out if this thing is banned right now. U-turn. 260. Thirty-two percent. U-turn. Thirty-two percent. Uh, that looks like adamant. Um. That's adamant. Yeah, cause he did a hundred and twenty-three. Is that a possible roll on Jolly? No, so he is adamant. Brings in the Frost Slash. Okay. Um. Wow, this is so different from what I expected. Okay. Um. Kind of want to go Quillfish. And. Kind of just. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go Quillfish first. Um, I don't want to pop the policy just yet. Um, if this thing gets burned, it's honestly not that big of a deal. Um, triple Axel is gonna come out. Spike's lead. Um... Let's see, Frostlass. Uh, okay, I need Jolly Triple Axel. Got the three hits at minus one to up to 21%. I'm at 251. So 25%. That means he is attack invested. Likely just max attack Jolly. Um, I'm just going to get a crunch off. It, there's no consequence, really, to me getting a crunch. Um... Yeah, Corviknight comes out. Rocky Helmet. Um, okay, so there was no Unnerve and no Pressure, right? That's the only other two abilities, so this is Mirror Armor. Yeah, no Pressure, no Unnerve, it is Mirror Armor. That's fine. Um, I should be faster than this. 
I am. So I can actually just get a... No, I'm gonna get a T-Spike up. I'm gonna get a T-Spike up. Yep. I'm at half. Uh, I will die to Specs Draco from, uh, from the Dragapult. If that's what he decides to bring in. Um, if it's not Specs, do I live the Draco? Um... It looks like I, he only does about 45-ish percent max. Uh, 48. Um, if he does Specs Draco, that's fine. That's actually, like, super fine. Um, gouging Fire... Frost loss comes out. Okay. So it's going to take the T-Spikes. Um, I have no reason to get up another one. In my all... Like, in my honest opinion. I am HO. Um, I kind of just want to get a crunch off again. Okay. Brings in the Corviknight. This thing is getting weakened. Uh, I'm gonna taunt so he can't defog. No defog for you. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this again. I'm just gonna crunch. I'll take the Rocky Helmet. That's fine. Little guy. Ooh, it's getting some good damage on this uh, this Corviknight. Do I die to U-turn? I don't. That is actually good for me. So the Corviknight's at about half, and I still have a T-Spike up. Um, that's really, really good for me. Hmm. How much am I doing to, like, Mellow? Frostlass comes back out. Um, I'm okay to let this go, I think. I could preserve it as a sack for later. I could actually go Skarmory here. Um, but I'm actually just going to get a crunch. I'm just going to crunch. Um, is he going to miss? Okay, no, he doesn't miss. All right, so Frostlass is going to pick up that first kill, which is fine by me. Okay. I want to... Honestly, I want to go Mew. Because I take... So, okay. I want to go Mew for the sole purpose that Frostlass... Um, max Attack... Jolly... Poltergeist... Uh, actually, it does a lot of damage. Um... This could actually start punching holes in this team. Now that Corviknight's weakened. I think I go into this. Uh, let's see. It does Meloetta take a hit? Um, it does. It takes him very well, actually. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna pop Mew. With T-Spikes, this actually could be a 2 KO on Meloetta. Um, I'm going to Agility. I have to fear Destiny Bond here. I have to assume he clicks D-Bond here. That's fine. Okay, I am faster than this now. Um, Frostlass. Uh, with max HP, flamethrower kills. But he's max speed, or at least faster than me. Um, 
So I have to assume he doesn't have a whole lot. I have to flamethrower and hope I don't get cursed bodied. Mew is gonna pick up a kill. Come on. Fuck! Fuck. I needed that to not happen. That actually sucks. Um, hmm. You might not want to go to Corbinite here. You go Meloetta. Okay. Um, if it specs, this is going to do a ton of damage. Uh, it's going to do about sixty percent. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna energy ball get a potential special defense drop. I did, let's go. You turn out. That is beautiful. Does Ice Beam actually now kill Corviknight? Ooh, it's close. It is very close. It's very close. Okay. So, I got rid of Frostlass with this, and I got a little bit of damage on Meloetta. I put him in a weird spot. Um, which I love. Love it, I love it, I love it. Hmm. Corviknight. Um, I am still Cursed Body, yeah, for two more turns. So, I have to Ice Beam here. No Freeze. That's fine. Um, okay. 9 to 10% on the Ice Beam. Um, it doesn't cost me anything to just click Ice Beam here. It doesn't matter. So, Mew's gonna pick up another kill, which is massive, massive, massive. Um, I love the sight of that. Corviknight is down. Frostlass is down. I am no longer disabled off of the Flamethrower. And nothing really wants to take this hit too much. Um, T-Spikes are gone. Let's see. So are the Spikes. I think it's better for me that the Spike is gone than him that the T-Spike is gone. Uh, Cleavor would actually take the hit, probably. Yeah, Cleavor does take the hit. Um, I still do a ton of damage to this. And I kind of get walled by Meloetta. It might be in my best interest to... Honestly, Flamethrower and pick up that potential kill. Or not kill, but uh, just do a chunk of damage to this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Flamethrower here. X Scissor is going to take me down. That's fine. Thank you, Mew. Okay. So now, I think I want to go Skarmory. Uh, Gouging Fire, I outpace. So it's actually interesting. Cleavor, since he's adamant, um, X Scissor does. 25% to me. If he's scarfed, that's an issue. Um, I think I actually do want to go into... Hmm. Uh, Meloetta. Okay, I do need the sun for that. Um... I am going to actually just get my, uh, my gouging fire in here. Uh, it looks like it's in range of a scale shot. 42 to 51 off of three hits. That looks like range. I am going to scale shot. Go into Meloetta. Give me Meloetta. Urshifu, even better. The 
crit. It uh, doesn't matter. Only got two. Okay. Uh, at minus one... I take any one hit. My play is to always um, outrage. That's a lot of damage. Trailblaze. 343. Um, I take Adamant. Um, if he's Punching Glove... Ooh, I outspeed. Oh, he's Adamant. He's Adamant. Gouging Fire picks up a kill. Fucking bang! Fucking bang. Okay. Meloetta probably comes in here. In that case, do I sack off Dawnfan to get Skarmory in? I think the answer is yes. Um, or I could do the same thing. Actually, no, I, I get Skarmory in. He did not expect Jolly Gouging Fire. So Meloetta is going to come out. That is fine. Um, so I'm plus one. Not uh, attack. Not um, So Meloetta uh, takes this really, really well. Or not really well, but it takes it. So I'm going to actually sack off Dawnfan here. Um, to get Skarmory in. That's fine. Um, did he have to be specs to kill there? I was at like, what, 70%-ish? Uh, if he wasn't specs, 50, 40, 68, that might have been a roll. Kinda wish I actually looked at that before, but that's fine. Vapo, if he's not specs, Vaporeon actually takes this hit decently well. Um, but probably doesn't take a great hit from the Cleaver on the ensuing hit. Um, I think I scale shot again and get this thing into range of Outrage. Uh, if your specs... Uh, 63 to 75. I take the hit. I scale shot into Outrage here. Um, which should kill this. Scale shot. Oh, yeah, I'm actually faster. Three times. Gouging fire, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, no crit, huge. Okay, now unless he's Scarf Dragapult, um, I could actually, you know what? If I'm plus two speed, do I outspeed Scarf Dragapult? Uh, in which case, it might be my best... I would, yeah, it's in my best interest to go for it. In case he's Scarf Dragapult. Shit. Unfortunate. I should live this, though. I don't... Fuck. I, I had to... I, I couldn't... I can't... I can't... Risk Star... I couldn't... I don't feel like I could risk Scarf Dragapult. Um... Should have just fucking hit. I should have just hit. I should have just hit. I should have just hit. Um, that might have been. A, I should have just hit it. Okay. Um, Vaporeon. Um. 
Um, no, I, I go Skarmory. Damn, I think if if that's not Scarf Dragapult, I'm going to be really pissed. Um, Gouging Fire just won at that point. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to take the kill. Body press comes out, kills the Meloetta. Um, I think I lose. I think me not just, um, I should have just clicked Outrage. Um, if, the, if, if that's not Scarf, uh, Dragapult, then I just threw the game. But if it was Scarf Dragapult, then I stand by it. Um, I will just take the, the damage here, if I can get it. Stone Axe comes out, kills me. Um, Cleavor, if that's Banded Cleavor, then I just die. Um, I'm pissed off. Um, I mean, I'll Terra. Does Terra Fairy? It's gonna. I actually would like him to miss. Would be what the what the play is here. Um, I I hope that he's. I hope that he's Scarf Dragonbolt. because of the plus one potential for gouging. I might actually live. Hold on. Wait. Dragapult specs. If it's modest, Shadow Ball does 49.4 max. 226. I'm above. Um, do I take two? If he's not, uh, I might. Um, if I take the 32, puts me at... Um, Calm Minding, I think, is my play in case he is Scarfed. Because which I should live. Yeah, he has specs. Fuck, I should have just gone for the fucking... I should have just hit Outrage. I, I lost because I didn't click Outrage. He has specs. Fuck, we were prepping for the, the specs too. Um. Fuck, I'm actually pissed. Um, 74 to 87. I never killed, so it didn't matter. I'm not happy. I won this game if I clicked Outrage. Just outright. Because he specs. Which we were prepping for a specs. I shouldn't... I, I got into my head about a potential Scarf Dragapult, and I didn't want to throw it. It was probably... Damn it! I should have won that game. If I click Outrage, I win. Um, that's no shot to Finfin fin at all. Um, he played a great game. Um, a lot of stuff I didn't expect. Um, should have clicked Outrage. I, I, if it was... It's not... I know it's not Scarf, so I'm kicking myself now. Um... Week 3 is a different week, so hopefully we bounce back. Uh, starting 0-2 is not fun. That kind of really messes up our chances for playoffs. Um, I threw this game. I threw it.